One of the things we've implemented into the update is that you can now use pallet barcodes throughout the warehouse. Previously, if you were to scan a pallet barcode into a single pallet warehouse location, it would actually clear out the pallet barcode. We've changed that, so now those pallet barcodes are retained even when stock is in the single pallet location. The other big advantage of this is that when you put multiple pallets into a single pallet warehouse location, you can actually configure Card and Cloud to charge that location multiple times. So that can be really useful if you've got, say, locations which are up very high in your warehouse and you can double stack pallets in there. You can optionally turn on the ability to be able to charge your customers for the number of pallets that you've got stored in that location rather than just having it aggregate back to a single charge. But some other neat things that we've done are when you're actually going and putting away that stock, you're able to print pallet barcodes at that time. So if I go into this particular item, which is for two pallets worth of solar panels, what I can do here is, if you see down the bottom, when I press print, I've actually now got the ability to print both a pallet label or the pop labels that you're used to seeing on all of your stock. The other neat thing is that if you want to assign stock to an existing pallet barcode, then you can do that through this option here, which lets you just go and scan it to a barcode, a pallet that you've already got in your warehouse. Something else that we've made possible is that from the purchase order screen, you can actually now open up the menu and you can print pallet labels in bulk. So this enables you to pre-print a whole lot of pallet labels and then put them in your pocket or put them on a forklift or put them somewhere else so that you don't have to keep moving back and forth to a printer. You can then use those pallet barcodes to assign to incoming stock or stock which is already in locations. So if you want to move around your warehouse and put pallet barcodes on everything, you can do that by pre-printing them from here. You can also print those pallet barcodes from the web app as well.